Did you guys know that I cook too? It's true. And today we're learning how to cook a heart made out of gelatin. You guys already had my metaphorical heart, but now you have my literal heart too. The first step to any recipe is to gather your ingredients. You will need glycerin, found at your local pharmacy, powder gelatin, found at your local supermarket, water, found on earth, and a cup from your kitchen, blood, preferably found at an FX store and not out of your body, a popsicle stick slash tongue depressor, a microwavable container, paper towels, measuring cups, and saran wrap. So we're going to mix almost equal parts of gelatin, glycerin, and water. I used two scoops of gelatin, two scoops of glycerin, and then two and a half scoops of water. You can use any amount or ratio that you find is necessary. I made more than enough, but that's because I know that I can reuse gelatin later. After you've put all the ingredients together and mixed them, we're gonna microwave them. But we're only gonna microwave this batch for 12 seconds at a time. You don't want to eat it for longer than that because you don't want this to boil. So after microwaving it once for 12 seconds, you can see that it's not fully liquefied yet. So we're going to have to heat it again in 12 second increments until it's completely liquefied like the outside edges that you see here. Once it looks completely liquefied like this and once it smells like a New York City subway filled with baby diapers, you know that you're ready to put it in your mold. What's the mold you ask? Well, we're just gonna use what we have. So, so I'm taking a sheet of saran wrap, if I can get it off. Really struggling here, really first world problems, okay. Yep, okay, so once we get that free, I'm gonna set that over top of the biggest measuring cup, this one is a cup, and then I'm going to pour the hot gelatin into the cup. Your heart is about the size of your fist, so you wanna pour about that much into it, or you wanna find a cup that is of equal size. Then I'm taking our regular drinking cup and I'm packing it with paper towels to create a weird amorphous shape that is left for the heart to sit in. And then this part takes some finagling. I just pick up the gelatin and the saran wrap and I sit it in the cup around the paper towels and I move it around until I feel like I've gotten a good shape. I ended up taking it out of the cup several times until I found the spot that I wanted it in. With this method, since it's a little rogue, it's also kind of hard to tell how well the shape is going to come out. Once you've found a spot that you think is going to work well, twist the top of the saran wrap, pull it back, and then you're going to stick that in the freezer for a while and just hope that it comes out looking kind of weird. Okay, so it wasn't 16 days, but it was about 45 minutes later until it was frozen solid. Gotta put the oven mitts on for the freezer, you know, just, you know, for effect. Guys, we're cooking. Safety first. Now that it's frozen, you can unwrap it like it's a present on Christmas morning. Maybe the nightmare before Christmas morning. Unwrap it carefully because you should have like weird little phalanges sticking out of the top. Kind of like an aorta. Or some major veinage. Ta-da! You have a squishy heart. Then I'm just pouring a bunch of blood in a bowl. I'm going to sit it in there and just roll it around until it's completely bloody. That's the whole thing. Eat your hot out, Martha Stewart. And as I said, you can use the leftover gelatin that should now be solid in your Tupperware container. You can reheat it and make a wound out of it on your chest, like so. And you can walk around a Halloween party with your heart in your hand. And you know, if you have like a crush, you can give him your heart and hope that he's not completely creeped out by you. And if he's not, he's a winner. That's when you know, you keep him. Love you guys with all my heart. See you next time.